Hello, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Liberty, and I'm going to be showing you how to merge Alphabet into an embroidery design using Silhouette Pro. If you have never done this before, it can be a little bit intimidating, but I assure you it is very simple. And before we are done today, you'll be able to merge Alphabet like a pro. Let's begin. If you take a look at my screen, you will see that I have my web browser open to Apex Embroidery Fonts and Designs. The reason for this is to be able to merge a design, I first need to be able to purchase it. And Apex is one of my favorite design websites to go to. They have some extremely unique items, including 3D puffy designs and fonts. You can see some of those up here on the screen. If you look over here to the left, you will see all the different categories they have. They literally have hundreds of fonts. If you can't find it here, you're probably not going to go find it anywhere else. They have extremely good quality and their customer service is great. So I very much recommend them to anybody. They also do digitizing. So if you're looking for that, please check them out as well. Now I've already purchased my font today. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open So What Pro. As I mentioned earlier, So What Pro is my embroidery editing software. This is a separate purchase from your machine as well. So it's important to make sure you have this. If you have not purchased it, you can do a trial of So What Pro. There's also Embird and Brilliance, amazing designs. I highly recommend using the trial before making a commitment, but I really like So What Pro, so I'm going to continue using that. If you also use So What Pro and have downloaded it, this is what your screen should look like when you first open it. I'm now ready to open my embroidery alphabet file, so I'm going to go ahead and go File, Open. Now it defaults to the most recent file I had open. I need to go back, so I'm going to click Desktop. I have mine saved to one big file, Embroidery Designs, and then I'm going to go down to Alphabets. Today I'm going to be using the 3D script by Apex to show you. Now it's important to, when you download, to select the right file design type. Not all machines re read the same kind of file. I have a Brother PE770, which reads PES file. So this is very important to make sure you selected that option before committing to a purchase. If not, sometimes you are able to select it after the purchase in the download file. Either way, if you don't have the right file design type, your machine will not read it. Most designers also include several different sizes to choose from. Today I want to use the one inch high Font, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scroll through. If I click on one, you can see that I get a preview over here on the right hand side of my screen. I'm going to go ahead and select the first letter I need today. I'm going to click open. And voila, that's it. You just merged your first letter into your design. Congratulations. Now, however, I want to put in the rest of my letters. I obviously cannot do that just here on the right hand side, so I need to move my A. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to slowly drag it over here to the left hand side of my hoop so that I have plenty of room. If you notice the little corners, please do not drag and drop those corners to resize. If you do that, it will compromise the integrity of the design and can cause you some big problems. If you absolutely need to resize the font, please use the resize tool up in the icon bar. I don't need to resize, so I'm going to go ahead and continue. Now, along with this, Besides being able to move my font, this little green circle also allows me to rotate my letters. I don't need to rotate any letters or arc them today, so I'm going to go ahead and just leave it straight. I am, however, ready to merge the rest of my alphabet. Now there's a very simple way, so pay close attention. If I go up here to my icon bar, you'll see this little teeny file folder that says icons. Go ahead and click on that. There you go. Your alphabet appears over here on the right hand side. Now if this is your first time doing so, it will probably look more like this. You want to make sure you have your alphabet mode selected or when you click on each alphabet letter or number, it will just stack on top of each other and make a big mess and you don't want that. So go ahead and select alphabet mode and it will condense it as shown and essentially this enables you to click on them and type them in just as if you were using a t uh, your keyboard. Let me show you that. And there you go, I'm done inserting my alphabet, it's that simple. You can see they're all lined up, that was fairly simple and painless don't you think? 
So I'm going to go ahead now though and I'm going to select, unselect the icon mode so I can go back. One thing is, is when I do merge alphabet, each individual letter becomes a step in the design. I don't want that so I'm going to go up here and I'm going to edit. I'm going to join threads and I'm going to join all adjacent threads of the same color and click OK. This reduces the steps to one. And I'm also going to go over here to make sure that they are centered properly in the hoop and I'm going to click the center pattern icon. It appears as if mine is already perfectly centered right now so I'm ready to go. All I need to do is save my design and load it to my machine. So there you go. I hope this helped you today. Good luck with your future projects and enjoy. Please visit apexembroidery.com for more fantastic designs. Have a great day.